Welcome to Metal Titans, Guardians of Metal Entertainment Worldwide. I am here with Eric of Hate Eternal. Thank you for conducting this interview with me. Sure. Um, so how's the crowd been reacting so far on this tour? Uh, it's been awesome. I mean, uh, if you put four bands like we have on this bill together, um, I knew it would be a good tour just because uh, I've been trying to work something like this for a long time um, with, with Vital Remains, you know, they're great friends of mine and I work with them and uh, Origin as well and the Abysmal Dawn, you know, I mixed their last record so I've been friends with them so I really wanted to put together like a all death metal package uh, just because I figured that fans would respond well to it and they have. There's been a lot of people coming to these shows and really awesome shows, even better than I anticipated. So. That's really good. Yeah. And have the crowds been reacting well to the new Hate Eternal material oh, yeah. as well? Yeah, the more it, it, it's out, the more they're responding, you know. That's like good. People have been real happy with the new record and even got good reviews, which is always, you huh. just never know. We just recently did one, too, so for your CD. I expect so. the worst. Oh, oh, for the really? best. That's my theory. Yeah, you yeah. know, then I'm never disappointed, you know. <laughs> I, some people say it's pessimistic. I just say it's realistic because, you know, people, people always criticize everything you do. So I've done it long enough where... I just built up, you, you build up a, a shell of tolerance of exactly. like, okay, well, some people are going to think what you do sucks, and th some people think it's the best thing in the planet, so, yeah. but yeah, everything's been going great, everybody's loving the new songs. Now, you guys really put a lot of hard work into the album, how do you feel mm -hmm. that the sales have been going so far, have you seen any numbers from it, or like seen anything for Billboard charts or anything like that for the new album, or is it still too soon to say? I haven't really paid attention to it, to be honest no? with you. Um, you know, when I completed this record, I was so pretty pleased about how it came out from uh, the production to the songwriting and to the performances with Jade and JJ. So I was yeah. really happy about it. I told myself, you know what, no matter what the record does, I feel like it's a success because I'm pretty content with it. And I'm not content with a lot. So um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm, I'm hard on other people. I'm harder on myself. So... Um, for me to be as pretty satisfied with uh, the new record, it means a lot to me and, and to the band. And I kind of felt like, you know, man, we did this great record. I'm really happy about it. And no matter what it does, I feel like it's a success. So I haven't really kept track of it. That's really cool. Yeah, it's it's. I used to get caught up with sales, and I used to get off get caught up with a lot of uh, bullshit. To be honest with you, with the music <laughs> industry and things, and get like worried about this and that. And I just this record, I just said, fuck it, I can't control what happens, and I can't control what anybody does, but what I can control is making a great record that, that we can be proud of, and that the fans love, and those are the two things that are more important to me than anything. Exactly. It is to every band out there, right? Yeah, but As long as be. everybody's happy, that's all that's that matters. Right. Now, speaking of the album, what was a lot of the inspiration musically and lyrically for this album? Well, yes, musically, I wanted to... Um, expand a little bit from what we've done in the past um just a little bit more dynamics and different variances and tempos and uh like add some more heaviness and melody but yet keep the intensity of what people expect from hate eternal yeah um and the kind of the theme of the whole record was like a continuation from fury and flames in a sense of like um Fear and Flames was a really hard record for me to do, and personally, and with this record, I felt kind of like uh, a fresh start, I guess, you know, yeah. um, because the last record was so difficult for a lot of reasons that kind of everybody knows why, um, and with this record, I kind of came into it with a, a, you know, with Jade back, my drummer, and, uh, you know, and JJ playing bass, he's a good friend of mine, I've known him for years, so. Yeah. It kind of the whole lineup fell into place so it was kind of like a rebirth or a resurrection of the spirit for me uh, personally and for the band and hence why i came up with the title um phoenix amongst the ashes like it was in the progress like in the process of the rebuilding stage i guess um it kind of went into that uh, with the theme and lyrically as well, um, just kind of based that off Fear and Flames continuing into this, even though I feel like this record at the same time is a new start. Yeah. 
Well, it's a really good record so far, so oh, thank you. for sure. Now, I noticed that um, Paul Romano did your artwork. He's worked with you in the past. Mm -hmm. um, did you two both discuss the idea of the artwork beforehand, or was it kind of like he no. came up with it, she, you came up with it? Um, I always, uh, I always have um, given him a theme uh, of what the lyrics are about, you know, what the songs are about. Uh, the album, the vibe, I always give him pre-production of the songs, um, lyrics, and then he, I always let him kind of, uh, you know, take control from that, and uh, it's always worked out, I've always been really happy with his work, and he's just a deep guy, yeah. and I'm kind of a deep person, you know, <laughs> I'm not a shallow person, you know, and I, I'm, I'm a guy that wears everything on my sleeves, I don't... Um, hold anything back I never have and uh that's good <laughs> he's a guy that kind of just we just gel and um I just give him everything I have and then he I let him go from there cool it's a really cool cover by the way thanks so. yeah some people hate it some people really? love it some people I had somebody tell me they thought it was too abstract and I was like well if you listen to Hate Eternal our music's really it's, abstract it fits abstract. Yeah, I the think band so. yeah we're not a we, you know, we're rooted in traditional death metal, but we also have a lot of really odd elements that are not normal. Like so, unique uh, features that aren't yeah, exactly. so much just mm -hmm. like old Hate yeah. Eternal. It's a little bit branches out new. a little bit. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, I think that I've always enjoyed the artwork and always wanted to do something a little bit different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, with um, the new album out, are there any plans to release a video for it? Uh, yeah, actually, we, we will in the near future. Um, cool. Yeah. Any little hints that you can I, say, I or more I, or less, you want to keep I can it secret? Say it. Yeah, so I got to keep it like on the low down right now because I'm not sure if I can talk about it or not. Sure, not but a problem. But we will do something. Uh, we will release it video soon. Sure. Now, um, now you used to play with Morbid Angel, and mm -hmm. I've noticed that now they've come back. Is there a chance that you would possibly? Maybe even do like a collaboration with Morbid Angel and Hate Eternal on one tour and even join together? Or is oh, that that'd be something awesome. that, yeah, I'd yeah. love to do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Um, anything's possible. Yeah. You know, I never, I mean, I, I'm still great friends with those guys and, and, you know, their management and their, you know, I mean, it's, it would be great. Yeah, I'd love to do that. That would be really cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. Now, um, is there anything about when you're touring that you really miss about when you're at home? Mm. Like, do you some, miss certain things? Sure, I was uh, sleeping in my bed. <laughs> I think that's the common consensus with my lady, so far. <laughs> with my lady and my 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 pups, seeing my pups every day. I guess you know, going to the beach. I live at the beach. You know, there's definitely those are things. I mean, I actually where I live now is um, man, it's just uh, it's awesome. I mean, you know, I bought a house a couple of years ago right near the beach and. Oh, so I've got nice. a pretty good vibe, you know, where, I, where yeah. I live. It's very inspirational. So certainly, I miss I miss those things for sure. Um, but you know, I, I I love playing. I mean, it's uh, I love traveling too. I love yeah. seeing sights, and I mean, I've traveled. You know, I've been everywhere many times, and I still enjoy it. So it's the uh, love of the labor, I guess, maybe. Yeah. You know, but I do. I mean, I sure I miss home as well. But I love performing, so it's, it's uh Well it's definitely a job that takes you around the world, right? It does, yeah. yeah. I love that. Now thank you, Eric, for doing this interview with me. No problem. Um is there anything you'd like to send out to the fans? Um well I hope everybody likes the new record <laughs> and I hope uh So far so good. It'll so be a great see. show tonight and really excited to be back. Perfect. It's been a while. Thank, thank you. you. Oh my pleasure. <laughs>